we're heading back to Marcus, I think. And the last time we saw Marcus wasn't good. So, all right. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. That's me. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the there first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. Hi. We contacted CyberLife. They look so sad. Do I have anything on underneath the trench coat and my, like, crappy pants? Okay, yeah, I do. Hello. I don't look homeless at all, but of course it doesn't matter. Ferndale. I got it. The fuck? How can I even do that? That's weird. Okay. So it's a weird silhouette thing of like, it almost looks like a broken android. In front of some weird circular stained glass window design. Okay. Hey? Oh, so it's graffiti. Oh no, it's right there. That's it. Spare, I don't have any. I don't have any. I'm sorry. I mean, I found it. It's right here. Okay. <laughs> there it is. So, I took off my LED. So, like, the button prompts aren't coming up anymore when I examine stuff. I mean, I, I found the symbol. Okay. Next graffiti. What next graffiti? That's the graffiti! Oh, except he, he checked one on his hand and I wasn't paying attention, so haha. <laughs> Great. Okay. Cyberlife's fortune teller computer. Cyberlife develops the world's most powerful quantum calculator. Android soldiers perfect killing machines. Swell. Okay, but actually I just something just clicked in my head. When I was changing hair colors as Kara, it like went all sparkly blue as it like changed the color of her hair. And when I first walked up to Amanda in 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 the Zen Garden, I was like, oh, nice hair, because it looked all blue and sparkly. I don't know if that was just weird lighting, or maybe she's an android too. It's getting real hard to tell, isn't it? Great. <sighs> Cyberlife has unveiled a new quantum supercomputer capable of exaflops. One billion billion operations per second! the equivalent of several human minds in a single machine. The computer was specifically designed to analyze vast data from various sources and generate predictions. Blech. Philip Seymour, CyberLife's director of futurology, <sighs> that's something you can be an expert on, that's pretty cool, is highly confident. We've been testing for a while and the results are going to wow people. The computer will be used to calculate the probability of mass extinction events, such as aggressive alien invasions. <laughs> Or global climate disasters like meteors or super viruses. Hmm, the division much? Except that's not a super virus, is it? I'm, I never. I played the beta. That's it. The computer can help. Can then help us to anticipate and prepare for such calamities, ensuring humanity is never caught off guard. Despite doomsday predictions from those fearful that AI is gaining too much influence already, many experts are hailing this as a quantum leap in applied artificial intelligence. Interesting. Next story. Android astronauts to explore Io? No goddamn way! Androids in space! <laughs> NASA announced the launch of a five android crew to explore Io, one of Jupiter's satellites. The journey will last three years and is expected to teach us much about the formation of our solar system. Though not the first androids in space, this is the first all-machine crew, providing that androids are sufficiently reliable to be entrusted within the entire mission. Androids are an extraordinary asset for the conquest of space, says Michael Shelley, director of NASA. Cosmic radiation destroys human DNA. Humans suffer many effects from long-term space travel, while androids are immune to most of these issues. NASA confirmed no return journey was planned and that the androids would work on Io for several months before being dis destroyed. 
by the extreme conditions. You sent them up there knowing they weren't going to come back? Did anyone bother to tell them that? Oh, that's upsetting. Pretty damn cool, but upsetting. Um, Dead Space 2 takes place on Titan, or around Titan, which is... Is that one of Jupiter's moons, or is that, that Saturn's moon? I don't remember, but it's one of the two. Okay. Um, can I check my hand again? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, it's a half lion face. Alright. That shouldn't be too hard to find. It's not here, so let's keep it moving, people. Hello, madam. How are you? You're gonna treat me normally since I look normal? Jerk. Going down. Oh, I see it. I see it. It's straight ahead. Okay. Let me just make sure I can interact with you. Pardon me, sir. No, I can't. Just kidding. <laughs> Drone! Excuse me. I would like to... That's like the second time that's happened. There we go. Do you know where Jericho is? Yeah, the ones in the parking lots, don't even bother with them. <laughs> they're they're very unhelpful. Also, she looks just like another, like one of the models I think I saw at the police station, which is weird. I mean, I got it. Mike Tyson! I don't know who that's what that is, but whatever. It's probably not, right? This is like 20 years into the future. Okay, found it. Next symbol, there's two. Oh, here it is. Why does this matter? Okay, it's on the corner of a building. Like, maybe an alleyway? I will look. Nothing I can interact with? Alright. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> wow, Marcus, he's actually jogging. I'm shocked. Well, can't go that way. Uh, let's cross the star. Okay. Well, I can't if it's red! Can I go now? I'm gonna get hit by a bus. Excuse me, sorry, excuse me. Okay, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> Back here. About that artist, Carl Manfred? Yeah, kinda sad. Kind of? Android killed. Fuck you! That's not what happened! Excuse me! Excuse me, that's not what happened! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> that was so upsetting. Crossing Street! No wait. I don't need much. Just, just enough for a cup of coffee. I don't have anything, dude. I'm sorry. The, the music in the background. It's it's the enigmatic piano, the enigmatic piano theme that I played in Carl's apartment. You guys hear it? Damn, not there. It is. It's it's the piano theme I chose in Carl's house. MOVE IT, YOU DICK! I'm looking for a chain-link fence topped with barbed wire on the corner of a building. Wait. Wait, that's it. That's it right there. I see it! Right here. That isn't the one I was looking for, but the one I am looking for is up here. There it is. Clue updated. Robots! On the other side of a fence. How am I finding these? Like, where did I get those? Did the creepy android in the junkyard somehow give me that information? He did grab me, so I don't know. Yeah, you guys hear it? That's the enigmatic theme. There it is. Okay. Three? Well, good lord. Alright, there's two. And... Can't look up any higher than that. Three, three, where is three? I don't see three. I don't see it. Oh, interesting. Okay.
It looks like that chain fence was pre-cut. Oh no, I gotta move the plank. I gotta move, I gotta move this. There we go. Okay. There it is! Clue number three! Eh, nope, wrong one. <laughs> there it is! Okay, is that a window? Oh, the music just got real- oh, there it is, it's over there. Oh, wait, okay, wait, hold on. I'm not gonna- no tunnel visioning! This is a game that does not reward tunnel visioning. In fact, it punishes it, so... Look the fuck around! Parking. Paid parking. Those are explodable. Hmm. Usually when you see red barrels like this all in one area in a video game, it means a firefight's about to go down. Have I even... No, no, I have. I've, I've, I've fired a gun. Uh, very first mission. I, I shot Daniel. And saved uh, the girl, whatever her name is. Emma was her name? Okay, but it's there. I see it. There's three again. Good lord almighty. Okay. Well, I'm assuming the rest of them are up a ways. Yeah, I gotta find a way to reach the roof. Okay, well. There was the thingy that I looked at back here. Maybe I can drag it f forward and step on it. Right here. Yes. Yes. Come on now, that looks like totally, perfectly what I'm. Ah! Damn it! By the way, um, I got my latest Game Informer magazine about a week ago, and um, one of my favorite things to do, uh, to read to read in the Game Informer magazines is the the reviews of games. And if you guys follow me on Facebook, I suppose I could have just used this instead of running all the way back, right? Um, yep, I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, back on uh. A while ago on Facebook, I said how the uh, survival horror indie game called The Forest was available. Yeah. All right, parkour master. Uh, the the horror survival indie game The Forest has reached version 1.0 and it is now at full release. And I was really excited to try it. It got a nine in the Game Informer, which is awesome. This game got an 8. And I'm like, wait, the forest is rated higher than Detroit? Really? And I was like, why did they only rate it an 8? And part of it was because of the, 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 the required motion controls. And I have to agree. Like, the motion controls for a game so heavily dependent on choice and so punishing for when you get it wrong is not good. It's just not good. And the only way that you can turn it on or, or off is, uh, by playing it on easy. You were hidden in there really good. Yeah, so, I agree. And they also say that the stories and characters are all very, uh, very elaborate and very well done. But they say m after the beginning of Marcus's story, he gets kind of, like, cliche and boring. And I hope that's not the case. But, anyway, I did kind of read the review, and that's what it said, so... Post your thoughts down in the comments. I know it's just, like, opinionated articles. So, yeah. But The Forest got a 9, which I'm really excited about. So, uh, if you guys want to see uh, future videos of The Forest, then let me know. I can't scan it. Oh, shit. Dude, this is like some fucking Mirror's Edge shit. I can't go any further than that. I could jump for the bar and swing, whereas I land on that and might fall, which would suck. Or, I mean, I'm trying. Now I can't move at all. Oh, no, wait, no, I see, I see. Okay, now that, that's one route. Here's another route. Hey! Ooh. Too unstable. Yeah, well, I, I, I called it, didn't I? Um, is that it? Are those my only two options? I think so. Oh, there we go. God, okay. Hiya! Compute! Okay. I'll do it. Woohoo! Oh, that's awesome! 
You're cool. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I'm looking for... It was a wall that looked like it might have said something like sparkle? Or something? Boo. And... Oh, there it is. Sparkle City. There it is. Okay. I found it! Not that, idiot. Well, I suppose we should probably get closer then. Three more. Alright. Got one. Oh, what? Oh, get the hell out of here! I didn't even see that! Okay, and then the other one's up here. Going up the fire escape? This one's inside the building. I didn't even see it. I didn't even see where the symbol was. Pre-constructs. Doing this again, eh? Alright, let's... Well, the fire escape is a thing. Oh, oh here we go. This is really cool. I like this a lot. Oh! Not solid enough. Okay. Well, then, let's rewind it and try something else. Uh, this is really cool. I like this a lot. Um, here we go. Get up there, buddy! Okay. Jump. Oh, shit! Too unstable. All right. Well, maybe if, can it, can I not do the wall run again? Let me move my fucking thing. It's getting hot in here. It's it's ten twenty in the morning, and it's hot in here. God, I hate summer. Okay. Oh, now you let me look. Okay, that's what I wanted to do in the first place. Hang on, buddy. There you go. Get on up there. And then... Too high? Oh, well, shit! Oh, wait, no, hold on. There it is. How about here? There you go! Alright. That's how you do it. That's cool! I, I, I like this mechanic a lot. And then you get to see him work his magic. So cool. He even did the turnaround. That's crazy. Okay, well, my next graffiti is somewhere. I don't even see it. But it's big yellow and orange graffiti next to like a pillar. Oh my. Oh my. Well, that ain't good. There it- oh god! I see it- oh! Clever girl you! Alright. This is those freaking QR codes from Watch Dogs all over again. Those are a pain in the ass. Okay. Wait, is that it? Right there in front of me? No. It's telling me where to go. Oh! Oh, I see! It's on the other side of this. I have to get to the other side. Got it! Got it! Okay, going... Can I go in? I can't go... Well, screw off then! Alright, fine. I'll just go, go this way. Hey, babe! I'm trying to get better at the figuring out what R1 and R2 means a little faster. <laughs> I've been playing some uh, Assassin's Creed Origins on my own time just to try and hit the level cap of 40 so we can get started on the DLCs. At least get started on them before Odyssey comes out. And, uh, can I change? There we go. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I'm at level like 37 right now, I think, after like two days of playing for hours. Jericho. Jericho. However you pronounce it, I don't fucking know. Oh, it's a boat. It's not a person at all. It's a boat. 
fascinating. And by person, I mean android. But still. Fascinating. I sounded like Spock just said, fascinating. <laughs> Hold on. Are there multiple options? I f uh, that is rickety as fuck. That's rickety as all get out. I don't I don't even want to try to do that. Going up here. Yeah. Though I will say, in the motion controls defense, they can be pretty cool at times. I like the touchpad. And like, you know, rubbing it back and forth when washing dishes or painting or something. That was really cool. And when I was in the junkyard and ripping parts out of androids and you have to like, uh, and pull it. I did like that a lot. But in the middle of quick time events when a guy is coming at me, trying to beat the shit out of me, don't like that. <laughs> Alright, heading up. That doesn't sound sturdy. Man, what a view. Going up. It doesn't sound secure! <laughs> Made it though. Okay. Oh boy! Oh boy! Okay. Don't look down, Marcus. Don't look down. God, this music is ominous to say the least. Oh, don't run. No, slow down, please, Marcus. Slow down. Thank you. I can't see the floor! Okay. <laughs> what? No, if this were Assassin's Creed, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But, what? <laughs> oh, God. I mean, it is water. What other option do I have, right? Yeah, like, I got nothing. Alright. Leap of faith, Marcus. You must believe, boy. You must believe. I'm in. Oh, I lost the coat. So much for grabbing that out of the junkyard. Okay, I'm in. Yay! It's dark and scary in here and I don't like it. I'm not supposed to... I'm not supposed to play Resident Evil 7 till tomorrow. I'm hopping into the Not A Hero DLC for you guys. Um, you guys may have already seen part one by the time this comes out, but I'm not sure. What is that? Oh! Oh, perfect! Eh. Oh no. Oh no, no, I actually did! I actually had to shake it, that's cool. Okay. That's like in uh, in The Last of Us, when your flashlight starts to flicker, you go like this. It's pretty cool. I like the dual shock. It's it's awesome. Except for when it, you know, is required in quick time events for a very stressful and choice oriented game. Then I don't like them. <laughs> so where the fuck am I going here? I'm just exploring. Okay. Locked. There's a place we can be free. This doesn't look like a place I want to be free in. <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh god. Well, I've been going for an hour and twenty and my lipstick is still holding strong, so... I don't know where the other stick is that I use, but... I'm hearing things! There's something on the boat with me. I mean, he did say we can be free. So, uh, yeah. I don't know why I'm... Surprised! I'll just go back this way. Yep, nothing for me back there. Let's just go back. Let's just go fucking back. Eh? Okay. I'll just go in here. Cool. Oh my god. 
That was really loud. <laughs> Can I change my camera angle? There it is. A uh, fucking Gen. Can I look at that? RA9. It's, it's back. There was something I could do over here, I think. If Marcus wants to... No, I'm just exploring. Okay. Well, there's nothing in here, but... Yeah, if you don't change the camera angle, you could totally miss that. Wow. Okay, but RA9 is here, again. But I've only seen the one religious offering that the, uh... That the Deviant had. And I didn't try this. Locked. Well, piss. I guess I just have to go down jump scare hallway. <laughs> Damn it! Oh no. <laughs> okay. She went that way. <laughs> so awesome. Okay, bye. Uh, oh. There's nothing down jump scare hallway. Well, if she can get through here, then so can I, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. At least I think it was a she. Couldn't really tell. Oh, God. That wouldn't have been pleasant. Found it. Can I go this way? Hello? Knock, knock, who's there? A very scared android. A very scared android who? My name is Marcus. I don't know why it's... Alright, every sound is... Every sound is getting me on edge now. No, don't turn around. I didn't tell you to do that. Okay. Alright! Okay, alright, okay! Oh god, okay! Run, 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 run! Oh! Oh! Oh god, Marcus. I hope you still don't feel pain. Cause that probably would have fractured something if 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 you weren't a robot. So consider yourself lucky. <sighs> this place is creepy and I don't like it. Uh hi. Hey hi! I'm I'm new here! My name is Marcus! What? Welcome to Jericho. Hi. Okay. He looked familiar. <laughs> Cool, I'm living in an abandoned boat. That's, that's, that's good. I read Fortune Teller and I missed something. Damn it. Exit the station. I asked the android the way to Jericho and she was incredibly unhelpful. Uh, I followed the signs and it opened up my eyes. I saw the signs. Leave the streets. Oh, damn, I missed something else. Ah! Look at all this optional stuff. I missed, like, almost all the optional stuff except goddamn magazine. Ugh. What were they? They weren't more magic stones, were they? <laughs> I climbed the crane and I jumped. Now I'm inside the boat, I found a flashlight, I entered the machine room, I fell off the catwalk, and I met the people of Jericho. There's only one way that can end. So, I missed some optional stuff, and it looks like maybe an alternate, uh, an alternate way onto the boat. Or something, because it connects back up to climb the crane and jump, so I think I just missed something again. But again, guys! Blind playthrough, okay? I'm gonna miss stuff, all right? So, apologies, but this is not 100% showcasing all options playthrough or all collectibles and whatever. I'm gonna miss stuff. So, yeah.